guys, it's Rival Boss, and today I've got am very excited because I am bringing to you another flash cart for a certain system that is very neglected, the Sega Master System or the Power Base. So what is this system? Well, first off, you need to know that this thing came out before the Sega Genesis. This was the system before the Sega Genesis and after the SG, I think it's like 1000, I think that was it. Um, but basically it was with their first little 8-bit system and it was to compete with the uh, Nintendo and in many ways this thing was much better than the Nintendo but it never really hit it off like it did the Nintendo did. <laughs> that was a funny sentence but uh, <laughs> never hit it off quite like the Nintendo but here we go. This is a uh, cover for my uh, beautiful Sega Master System that is uh, made by Printer Boy, and I will put a link in the description. I have basically one of these dust covers for pretty much all of my consoles. They are so nice. As you can see, they look exactly like the system, even down to the vents on the side, and even the freaking vents on the back. And they actually are for usable systems because they do have spots where you can leave them plugged in, which is real neat. So let's take off this pretty cover. But, I mean, you're not here just to see my pretty Sega Master System. Ah, Sega Master System. Um, but you're also here to see what I bought from AliExpress, which it came in this little envelope, actually, inside of another envelope. But it came also in this thing, which is a plastic container. Yeah. Ooh, plastic container. So what's inside of this plastic container? Um, <laughs> let's see. So... I ordered this on AliExpress. You can find them on eBay as well, but I would just get them from AliExpress. They come just fine. Um, all it says on the front is Master System. And on the back, it has the, you know, the warning only to be used with the Sega Master System. And at the top, you have easy access to the SD card in case you want to add some ROMs to it. Like, I guess, maybe some bootlegs. The crazy thing about the Sega Master System, just also so you know, is this thing was made almost in, I think it was made into the 2000s in Brazil. They they kept making games for this thing. Way crazy. Um, but anyway, so this thing comes pre-packaged though with a bunch of games already on it. Uh, and the main reason I got it is because I want to play Golden Axe Warrior, uh, which is basically a Zelda clone, but better in, my, in some ways. Oh, I don't know. That's blasphemy. Not better. Just different different um, on original hardware because it uses a very distinct controller kind of like a Nintendo NES controller uh, and I wanted to play it so uh, this is the best way to do that other than buying a, a $300 cartridge uh, the Golden Axe Warrior uh, as you can see it fits in the top very s simply it doesn't I don't have to even force it or anything like that some of these cartridges you kind of have to get in there the Nintendo ones were really bad I, if you didn't also know, some games also came on uh, like almost like cards for the front, but this is a cartridge base on top. So anyway, without more, uh, without further ado, I will show you guys what is on this cartridge and how fast it works, and we'll see some Gold Max Warrior. Okay guys, so as you saw there is a title screen that comes up and everything like that. Uh, and now here we are at the games. And as you can see, uh, it's pretty basic. There's mostly just, you know, mostly just text here. Uh, and we'll just kind of quickly go over some games. I will put some footage of some really cool Sega uh, Master System games in the footage as we go through these and stuff. Uh, but just in general, it is categorized by A through Z, Japanese. I'm going to guess this is another Japanese thing. Um, Brazil, because, you know, like I was saying, Brazil, Brazil made hacks and um, games much later than every place else. Uh, you've got your Europe. You've got your SG-1000 and SC-3000. That's the systems that came before even the Master System. Uh, UE, which is... It looks like uh, Universal. It looks like an unregioned. Uh, USA specific games. Uh, ROMs from U uh, USA and Europe. And then you also have your save file, which you can see in here, I have my Golden Axe Warrior save. Uh, it does save just like a normal cart, which is really cool. Uh, it works just like, it has a, a battery in there, I believe. And it's going to work just like, um, you know, your normal actual cart. It makes an actual save in there, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, the other feature it has is if you press the B button, I'm not going to even be able to show that because I have the lights off, but if you press the B button, it takes you to this screen, which you can basically then just launch the very last game you had running, which I don't remember what I had running in this, so I'm going to hit start with the A button. Oh, and it's Darius. I was playing Darius, I guess, last. Uh, this is Darius, as you, as some people know it. And it's a really good version of that, as I can show you real quick here. Pretty sweet. Look at these graphics. Now, remember, this was competing with the NES. And I tell you what, these are some pretty dang good graphics for the time. I wish I had a Sega Master System as a child. I was... You know, I had an NES and then a Super Nintendo like most people. I also had a Genesis in there. You'll we'll see. There is literally 29 pages here. Uh, but some noticeables, and I will put some footage to kind of break things up as I'm going. Uh, you got your Alex the Kid series. You got your Aliens uh, Storm, Alien Syndrome, which is pretty awesome. Um, what else you got? Let's see. Astro Warrior, which is pretty cool. Uh, Back to the Future, Bart Simpsons. You know, a lot of stuff that you'd see on the Nintendo as well is here. Um, Bonkers Wax Up. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a Bubble Bobble. The, the Bubble Bobble here is a little bit different than the uh, Nintendo version. I think it's better. Uh, you've got Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Uh... There is Coplifter, which is a really cool game on the Sega Master System. Uh, Chuck Rock 2 and uh, 1. Uh, what else you got? Cosmic Spacehead. And there's so many games that I've just never played before. Uh, Columns, very popular, of course. Now, the Sega Master System had many games that were later ported to the uh, Sega Game Gear. And also... There was an adapter where you could play Sega Game Gear or Sega Master System games on your Sega Game Gear, which is pretty neat. I'm actually going to try to get a hold of one of those now that I have this flash cart here. Um, what else do we got? Uh, Dragon Crystal's really cool. I believe they made a. I'm gonna and I might even put that they ported that on the Game Gear and then they ported it again to the 3DS uh, eShop, which is really cool. Uh, many of these games are definitely worth playing. Uh, there's the Echo the Dolphin, by the way. Uh, Fantasy Zone, obviously, is a very good classic Master System game. Uh, what else do we got here? <laughs> Fire and Ice, um, G-Lock, another real well-known, Galaxy Protector, Galaxy Force, Gauntlet, of course classic. I don't know what Genesis 6-button controller is, that's weird. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, you've got your normal Golden Axe, there is what we pay the money for, Golden Axe Warrior, amazing game. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, hang on. I mean, there's just so many titles, guys. I'm on page 14. 
and I'm just going to go through all of them and you can kind of just look and see Mission Impossible, James Bond, Jurassic Park. This is a really cool Jurassic Park, by the way. Very different. Um, what else we got? There are also games. Uh, Lion King I got ported to the Sega Game Gear as well. That was a real interesting one. Clax I remember playing first time on a Atari Lynx, of all things. Uh, Marvel Madness, of course, is a great game. Yeah, just so many neat stuff. Now, the other thing is, you'll see down here, there's some 3D games. Now, those actually use a 3D glasses, and I actually have those, and that's the other neat thing here, is I literally now have all the 3D games to use with my 3D glasses. There were 3D glasses made for the Sega Master System that actually work really well. Um, and then you also see some weird uh, Brazilian ROM hacks. We've got Master System Mega Man Brazil. We've got uh, Mario Brothers. And they look like they're all Teddy Boy hacks. Uh, and Zelda as well, Teddy Boy hack. Um, they probably just have sprites lifted, honestly. Uh, Mickey Mouse, you got the Castle of Illusion, the Land of Illusion, and Legend of Illusion. You got Mercs, which is a great game. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. I'm really curious to see what Mortal Kombat 3 looks like. I've never played that <laughs> on the Sega Master System. Uh, Ninja Gaiden is awesome on the Sega Master System. We'll have to look at that one too. Prince of Persia. Oh, that's Ninja Princess. I've never played. There's just so many of these games. Of course, OutRun is great. Pac-Man. Penguin. Let's, oh, and then there's the Fantasy Star games. Which run? I don't know what these Pokemon things are. I'm going to guess these are more Brazilian. Oh, they're the teddy boy hacks. So you got all these weird teddy bear hacks on here too. Prince of Persia is a great game. Uh, Psychic World was ported to the Sega Game Gear as well and is also a great game. Just different. Uh, Qbert, of course, our type is different on the Sega Master System as well. Man, there's just so many games. There's our Darius under the Japanese name. Riger, I didn't know was on the Sega Master System. I'm kind of curious to see what that is. Might have to check that out in a minute. Um, we got some more. There's Shinobi, which is great uh, on the Sega Master System. Yeah, just uh, tons of Sega Master System. Tetris, Smurfs, and then on your Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and Sonic versus. O.S. Menkis, the Psycho F. Hack. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Sonic Pinball saying it's Sonic Cave and Sonic Blast. Interesting enough. Okay, so I think we all know what we're here for, though. At least what I'm here for. We're going to see some of these other games, too. But let's go ahead and show you how fast uh, Golden Axe Warrior boots up. Shall we? Yes, let's just not fuck around here. Uh, so we're going to go to Golden Axe Warrior. We're going to hit it. We're going to go start and load, and this is live how long this thing takes to flash and write. And as you can see, it's a lot of focus, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see here. But as you can see, it works really well. Uh, flash pretty quick, honestly. I mean, that's pretty quick for an old 8-bit flash cart. 
um, we're gonna go to the title screen here and I'm just show you that I didn't have to load it up or anything and my file save named link <laughs> because this is a Zelda clone uh, is up here at the top I'm just gonna boot that up and as you can see I just boot right into the game where I was and I don't remember exactly where I was right now. I think I just beat this. And as you can see, it's very Zelda-ish. Like, you got your inventory up here. You got your world map over there. You got your weapons. Now, the only thing different here is you actually get more types of weapons in this game. And you even have the same type of heart layout, by the way. And you get magic. But, uh, yeah, you get, as I can show you here, I'll go back. Oops. Like, kind of a sideway. This axe kind of swings sideways. Oh, and there's, like, I can cut down trees and shit. Yeah, like, it's crazy. So, yeah, this is a great game. Uh, here's what, while I'm here, I'll show you kind of what the one of the lunge, uh, dungeons looks like. This is Dungeon 2. I can't remember if I actually beat this or not. But, oh my gosh, does this not scream Zelda? Like, the original Zelda. It is so Zelda. It, it is Zelda if Zelda was never made, right? And it plays really good can't remember oh you know what i think i'm actually gonna this i'm at a boss oh there's traps <laughs> spiky ceiling floors uh you do have to get keys and stuff to open up doors uh, i am at the very end of the level i remember this is the boss i'm going to right now lots of different enemy types i'm just gonna go kill myself on the boss or win in awesome victory stance uh the money system in this game is like two like dragon teeth or something like that do, th do those look familiar <laughs> the little uh things that go back and forth on the thing all right we're gonna we're going for the boss guys boss number two you guys ready to watch me fail because i'm going to fail miserably oh there's i wish i could get that for the boss oh here he is oh my gosh here we go we're going oh man okay oh i didn't heal in time oh i didn't heal in time well, anyway so that's Golden Axe Warrior. Pretty cool. Uh, it's got an overworld just like, you know, your normal game. Pretty cool. How Zelda is this? Uh, it even has, like, you know, your desert and everything else, like desert worlds. Oh, that tree just tried to kill me, man. Blobs. You know, it's, it's pretty much Zelda. So let's check out something else. So just to show you guys how different some of these games are from the Nintendo this is Riger, which was a Japanese release, apparently. And look how different this is. Sega Mark III, that's a different system. And look at how cool this title screen is. Like, this is so much more epic than the original Riger on the Nintendo. And, uh, you know, this is uh, really cool, so we're going to boot this up here. And as you can see, it's, it's very different from the original. Uh, the character is different. The play style is different. It more it reminds me more of like the Atari Lynx a little bit. Um, but yeah, really cool, right? I, I wonder how I get down there, by the way. But go away, dragons! Oh my gosh, how did I get that? Oh, there we go. Oh, and I died. But yeah, pretty sweet, right? So yeah, I think we'll end it here on. Uh, the Sega Master System version of Ninja Gaiden. Uh, and what do I think of this card? I think it is amazing. I picked this thing up for, I think, 25 bucks. Uh, and it has all the Sega Master System games, so I can play all of them now. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, being able to play Golden Axe Warrior alone for that type of price is awesome. So, you know, I highly recommend it. I will put a link in the description for this. Um, and you know, if you get have a Sega Master System, you can try it, or even play it on a Game Gear with an adapter. Even a Sega Genesis with an adapter will play this, um, and uh, it's pretty amazing. I uh, highly recommend it. I look out, look how cool this game Ninja Gaiden is, guys. Look how cool this is. So, you know, you, you don't really realize that Sega Master System had some awesome games on it, um, but yeah, this Ninja Gaiden is amazing. Look at this, you can climb through trees and shit. So yeah, uh, this this is an awesome pickup. I highly recommend it for anybody that likes old retro games. Uh, play yourself some Ninja Gaiden on the Sega Master System because it does not get enough praise. Oh, jeez. 
Um, yeah, so this is the Rival Boss signing off, and I uh, please like and subscribe the video if you like it. Uh, there was much more of this stuff coming along the way. Uh, I've got a Game Boy uh, backlit screen video coming. I've got some back, uh, Game Boy Everdrives coming. I've got uh, Arcade 1-Up stuff coming. i got a new image I am working on there. That That's going to come out someday, I promise, guys. I know a lot of you guys are subscribed for that specifically, but... Uh, this game, you know, I, I, this is what I enjoy. I enjoy Everdrives and stuff like this. And I hope you guys too do. Oh my gosh, I just ran into bamboo spikes and died. But, uh, yeah, oh, look look how generous the save is too, by the way. That's crazy. And I can go up and down on this. This is nuts. Oh, look at this special. That's cool. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so this is the rival boss being very entertained by, his, uh, by this pickup. I highly recommend it. Get yourself one if you... Uh, have a Sega Master System Game Gear or a Sega Genesis with an adapter. Uh, until next time, I've already said this a couple times, goodbye guys, and thanks for watching.